Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Multi Access Tutorials and Toolpath Series. This is over one more video on the topic of Mastercam Multi Access Toolpaths. And in this video, we will learn about Mastercam Multi Surface Toolpaths with the help of surfaces. So in this video, you will learn all about this that how you can create a toolpath for the Mastercam Multi Surfaces and in the multi surface what are the different methods to create the programming and how we can create toolpath and what kind of product we make with the help of multi surface toolpath so in this video we will learn with the help of the two different example first we will learn with the how we can create a toolpath with the help of a surface and after that we will also learn about that how we can create a toolpath with the help of some different methods so this is my method number one I would like to show you first I would like to show you the simulations for this one toolpath so you will understand about how this is going to be work as you can see in the simulation my tool is coming from a one direction and it's a cutting in a zigzag method cutting and it's tilting as per the surface profile as you can see this is my surface profile and it's uh, upper at the one portion and the down at the second portion so according to that tool is tilting and it's create a complete toolpath I would like to tell you that these are the basic series of multi axis we are not creating a complete part but if you watching the all these video so first that is must need that you have to understand what is the use of the toolpaths and what is the application of toolpath and how we can apply on any product after that once this series will be completed we will go step by step we will create the multiple product with the help of multi axis toolpath and we will create entire complete toolpath with the different toolpaths so now i would like to show you how you can create the toolpath with the help of multi surface so now i just delete this one so for creating a multi surface toolpath you have to go in a mastercam milling at here you will get a multi surface once you click on a multi surface first you have to select the tool which you want to create the toolpath once we select a tool after that we have to came in a cutting parameter in a cutting parameter parameter at the pattern options there are the four multiple options are available here and in this video we will learn about that how you can create toolpath with the help of surface we are just click on a surface and at here you have to define the surface where we have to apply the so at here we just click on a surface and this is my surface model and I just say end selection. Once I click on end selection this is the similar to the flow line you have to define how my toolpath flow will be looking like at here. You have to define the flow of the toolpath this is the offset it means your toolpath would be upper side of the surface and the bottom side of the surface this is the cutting direction it means you have to create a cutting toolpath in X or a Y. This is the step direction. It means where you have to start your toolpath from this and this, and you can define start from the left side or from the right side. So these are the four methods where you can control the flow line or the flow of toolpath. And once you set okay, this is the perfect flow, and you can say okay. Once you set the okay, this is the cutting method. You have to define a zigzag or how. This is the compensation direction, compensation left and right. And these are the all things that we are already learned previously. If you want to make some modifications in a flow, so you can click on a flow parameter and your window will be okay. again blink. In the next step, you have to keep on the tool axis direction. At the tool axis control, there are the multiple options available here. But for creating this path, we are using pattern surface pattern surface means your tool will be uh, tilting or tilting similar as per your surface so once your surface should be 90 degree your tool will be straight if surface is tilting 30 40 degree so according to that tool will be perpendicular to the surface you can define the output output format it should be machine 5 axis or 4 axis and the back plot should be in which direction your rotary direction is available and now we have to just say ok so as you can see here once we press ok so my toolpath is going to be regenerating and now it's finally done so as you can see here this is my toolpath is created right at here and once I play the toolpath 
so it's starting from the basic and it's tilting as per the surface so this is the basic method that how you can create a toolpath with the help of surface you just have to select a surface on which where you want to create a toolpath and you have to define the tool axis control and your toolpath can be created easily so this is the example number one that how you can create the toolpath for the multi surface now i would like to create apply this tool same toolpath on a particular model that how we can apply this toolpath on a model so for applying this toolpath on a model i just open a recent created part so this is my part if i have part similar to this kind of so how we can apply a prop toolpath properly at here and how we can cut so you will get some idea about it idea at here how all these things are working so i would like to first delete the same tool path just delete and okay now i want to create this path in front of you now first i have to came in a multi surface multi surface means you have to define the surface and tool path will be created properly i just select the tool is the 10 mm of ball nose in a cutting parameter the same i just define the surface which one surface i have to define i have to define the bottom surface and where i want to to play uh, working i want to working on the upper portion so i just say and selection i have to control the flow direction where i have to how i want to create the pass and just okay in the next step i have to def define it here how my tool axis should be controlled so i just say i have to control with the help of chain and where is my chain this is my chain and i just say okay now there are the multiple options available at here now i just say that closest point on chain it means my tool should be controlling with the help of a chain with the closest point to the surface and i just say okay and okay so now as you can see here this is my tool path is created right at here but i when i start to play tool path so what is happening my tool is created but it's make a pass on a particular surface which i define now the main advantage of the multi surfaces is that i would like to show you that if you want to create a tool path on the upper portion of this geometry like this one so what you have to do you have to came again on a parameter and the next example is the collision control there are the two methods available at here the one is compensation surface and second is the check surface compensation surface it means if you defining all these surfaces as the compensation surface it means you have to define all the surfaces as a compensation surface and just say okay okay now look at here this is the compensation surface it means my tool will be created right at here the it will follow the surface and this is the bottom surface and the flow also follow with this reference to the bottom surface but tool will not going to the bottom from this area and tool will cutting the portion on this surface and it will going to be properly finished as requirement so i hope you will get idea that how the compensation surface is going to be work and how we can apply the multi surface tool path with the help of surface method so this is the example number 1 how we can apply the multi surface tool path with the help of the surface and the one and last final option that is called the check surface check surface means if you want that my tool have to be not entering or not touching any particular surface so you have just select this surface check surface means the similar to the avoidance surface once we define any surface so it means it will be avoidance by my part so this is the basic method how things are going to be work i hope you will get idea about that how multi surface surface method is working and in the next few of example you will learn about that how we can create the tool path with the help of multi surface for example cylinder we will learn about the spiral and we will learn about the box also so see you in the next video with the multi surface tool path with the three next example cylinder spiral and box so keep learning keep growing